Hello everyone, it's Lewis P here. I hope everyone's having an amazing day, night, wherever you are in the world. Today what we're going to be talking about is the Gordon Ramsay Masterclass versus the Wolfgang Puck Masterclass. And then figure out which one is ultimately better for you as a chef, as someone that loves cooking for their family, or somebody that just considers themselves an absolute foodie, loves food, passionate about food, and can't live without it. And as always guys, I have a link in the description which will take you directly to the Masterclass, so I got your back there. So as a brief summary on what this video will entail, it'll talk about their beginnings and how they established themselves as chefs. Then we'll talk about the types of cooks that they really are and how one of them is really passionate and the other one is very mechanical. Then we'll have a look at how the both classes actually establish themselves as a masterclass, which I think is really interesting. Then on top of that, we'll also look at how the courses are actually structured with respect to methods and recipes. And another point I wanna bring up is their business and life philosophy. Now they come from two different spectrums of this. These two different points of view ultimately created who they are, AKA, some of the best chefs in the world. And the final point I really want to bring up before the conclusion, of course, is one of the largest and most important points I found that Gordon Ramsay said and what really Masterclass brings forth to everyone. And that's why I think I actually like these classes so much. So basically, who is Wolfgang Puck and who is Gordon Ramsay? So Wolfgang Puck is actually known as one of the best chefs on the planet, having one of the most popular restaurants in Las Vegas for more than 20 years. He has Michelin stars and obviously he's an absolute god at what he does. And one day I hope I have the chance to actually visit one of his restaurants. And this guy is obviously a really, really good businessman. He's from Austria. He knows his stuff. Then on the other hand, we have Gordon Ramsay, you know, the guy from Scotland, one of the greatest chefs on the planet right now. And obviously probably one of the most famous chefs on the planet, otherwise known as the F word guy. Don't let that detract who he is and his passion. At the root of who Gordon Ramsay is, he's ultimately a chef. And he even says it in the video when he's making it. He's like, okay, well, if I didn't have all this celebrity fame, I I would actually just go back to be a chef because he's passionate about it. He loves what he does. And you really feel that when you actually take the class from him, you feel the passion, you feel that love that he has for his profession, which is really, really cool to see in someone. But if you don't know who either of these guys are, pause the video, look at both of them, do a deep dive, actually do a deep dive. Because if you take this class, you want to know who your teachers are and what they've accomplished. The next component I want to talk about is their beginning, where they actually came from and how exactly they rose to the top. And this is defined very specifically in the class, but it's also an indicator on how they actually teach. So for example, Wolfgang Puck explains how we grew up with very little and food, really good quality food in fact, was a luxury having maybe meat once a week or once a month if they were lucky. You can kind of gauge that he comes from this very old school perspective, which is good, which is actually really good because I come from a European background, even though I am in Australia, I do come from that type of background where, you know, the, the old men in my family have really deep voices, but ultimately they don't cook as much as this guy, obviously, right? I don't think anybody cooks as much as Wolfgang Puck. But the point I'm making, guys, is it's really, really cool to have Wolfgang teach you in the way he, that he does. The only disadvantage I found with that is it can get a bit boring at times, but Masterclass really pulls that off with respect to the way they present it and obviously the imagery that they present with this. So it's quite good. On the other hand, you have Gordon Ramsay, who also came from humble beginnings, probably even more humble than Wolfgang. But the point is he worked hard. He started from the ground up and nothing was handed to him with the silver spoon. And he really delves into how he became the celebrity chef, how he honed his skills from a young age. In his early 20s, in his late teens, he was moving, living off 100 pounds a week. He was cleaning plates, graduated to grill, finding different mentors, and really, 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 really powerful things that he did. It's cool to hear both perspectives. On one hand, you have Wolfgang, who really drew from his family. But on the other hand, you have Gordon, who really drew from everyone else. It's just really cool to have those two perspectives with you. Ultimately, those those two perspectives bring so much value to you. The next point I want to bring up is the types of cooks that they actually are and therefore the way they teach. On one hand, you have Wolfgang Puck, who is very, very European, but he also, you feel the way he cooks. He uses his taste rather than mechanical, here is a teaspoon of this, use a teaspoon of this, X, Y, Z. It's like, okay, what do you feel like doing? How do you feel like this particular taste, knowing how your palate works, and we'll go into palate later in this video, how do you feel that this extra spice will affect this dish and this recipe? So. As I said, it's really advanced. You get a feel of how he works and he goes really, really deep, which is good. On the other hand, you have Gordon Ramsay and on, obviously everyone knows this about Gordon Ramsay. He's not afraid to speak his mind. He swears, but obviously that swearing comes from his passion for it and love ultimately. And you will 100% learn from both perspectives on the way they cook. On one hand, you have a very humble grandfather-like Wolfgang Puck. And on the other hand, you have Gordon Ramsay who will ultimately get the job done for you and teach you how to be a better cook than you currently 
currently are. And when you have Michelin star chefs teaching you what to do, you can't go wrong. The next point I wanna talk about is how the masterclasses actually begin. Now, they actually begin very, very differently. Gordon Ramsay's masterclass breaks down how the kitchen actually works. The layout, breaking down how different herbs and vegetables work, and ultimately how to actually use knife skills like pros. On the other hand, you have Wolfgang Puck, who goes straight into understanding how your taste palette works. So you can instantly see the differences. On one hand, you're very mechanical. Here is how a knife works. Here are all these vegetables. On the other hand, you have here is how your taste palette actually functions, how to train it and how to improve it and how to ultimately use it as a tool to cook. So if you've never used your palate to actually cook anything and you'd simply follow recipes all the time, you may really want to check out Wolfgang Park's masterclass. The next component I really want to bring up is how the classes are structured. And this is why I say one of them is advanced and one of them is also beginner to intermediate. The reason I say this is because Gordon Ramsay's masterclass is broken into methods and recipes. A method is here are the different types of meats that you can use and here are the good cuts and where to get these good cuts. And then the recipe is obviously here is how to make beef wellington with the beef. That's really cool and it's necessary. And that's why I actually prefer the Gordon Ramsay structure. On the other hand, you have Wolfgang Puck's advanced class whereby he's focused purely on recipes. Obviously there's the intro of who he is and his philosophy and his business philosophy, which we'll get to later. The way he structures his course is here is an advanced recipe. Here is another advanced recipe. And here is exactly how you break them down. For example, he goes into making pepper steak with exotic red wine sauces, cocktails, really, really exotic recipes, which is quite cool. And now one of the big points I found that was really interesting between both Wolfgang and Gordon was the way they view business and their life philosophy. Now I'm going to quote something that Wolfgang actually said, and I think it holds so true to every other aspect that you have. And that is routine is unacceptable. Always change, always grow, and always add value. Making old school food and modernizing it. For example, when he was in France, he incorporated one of his old school mother's first dishes back in the day, and he modernized it. And that's who he is. He's never sitting still and constantly moving and innovating. That is basically his life philosophy. He talks about the risks he takes when he was opening up his Las Vegas restaurant more than 20 years ago and thinking, is this the right move? And taking risks. Which types of chefs should he be hiring? Should he be hiring creative or executional chefs? He breaks these two down and it's really interesting. And he puts so much value into the creative chefs. Who is going to do something unique? Now, if you're a chef or if you just love cooking, that's his philosophy. Always be creative and always constantly evolve. Whereas on Gordon Ramsay, Gordon Ramsay is more than his TV persona. And you see how much he loves his businesses and he strives for perfection. He really emphasizes his Michelin stars and he takes every single one he earns. Think of a Michelin star like earning a gold medal. That's the way Gordon Ramsay really focuses on his perfection, which is really amazing to hear both of their business and life philosophies, which have contributed to their success. Now, the final point I want to bring up, and I think this is the most important point that I've received from both classes, and that is what Gordon Ramsay actually said. He is of the opinion that you have to learn from others and join all of this knowledge together. And that's how he brought out his unique skill. And ultimately that enhanced his career. And you see him on TV, you see him owning all these Michelin stars. And obviously he's one of the best chefs on the planet. And the coolest thing about Masterclass is they've gotten all the best chefs in the world and brought them together on this platform in order to teach us how to become better cooks. So if I had to pick one masterclass, I would pick the Gordon Ramsay masterclass to begin with. Take that. If I'm really comfortable and if I really enjoyed it, I'd probably upgrade to the all access class, which gives me every other class and every other cooking class masterclass will ever produce. And as always, guys, I have a link in the description, which will take you directly to the masterclass. So I got your back there. And also let me know in the comments below what you think of the masterclasses. Have you taken the Gordon Ramsay or the Wolfgang Puck masterclass? If you have, what did you think of them and how could they be improved? What did you like about them? What didn't you like about them so if you really like this content guys please give it a like it really helps me out a lot and obviously if you can subscribe that'll be even cooler so as always guys i hope everyone has an amazing day night wherever you are in the world lewis p out <laughs>